His grace. Mm. Mm. Somebody said to fear. So when he said that, during that during that uh, camping period, I was just crying to God. I don't know how the sickness. Though I know it because he told me everything. I said okay, but let God take control. Mm. So the sickness even started from that place. Mm. So when I came back from that camping. We came back on Wednesday. From that Wednesday to now, I've been from hospital to another. From that Wednesday, this is three weeks now. I've not gone anywhere. The sickness came to the extent that I cannot sit down. I cannot stand up. I, I was only lying down. My strength was failing me. My strength was failing me. It gets to extent that was a day I woke up from bed. I woke up, I could not even stand up from the bed. I could not lift my hand. I was seeing myself going. I cried. I called one of my friends. I said, see what is happening to me. I'm, I'm there, you know. I looked at my hands everywhere. I was pure white. My friend said, please run down to my place. Let me. I said, I don't even have strength. My friend said, try it. The last strength I had. I don't even know whether I locked my door. I went to that place. As soon as I went there, I fell down. Because my strength was failing me. My heart was beating as if 10 men were beating Band on my heart. Mm. My legs were shaking everywhere. So my friend now took me to a nurse place. So when we went there, the nurse put two drips, 12 injections. He gave me four injections that day. All the whole injections I take was 12 injections, drugs, everything, mm. as if it's not enough. So when I was there, I called Prophet. 
Daddy, may God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. You are really a prophet indeed. Amen. And you are really a father indeed. Amen. So why in that place I called a prophet? I said, prophet, see what is happening to me. Because you are the one that gave me this message. And it has come to pass. Pray. Daddy now said, where are you? I told him. He now sent a sister. Even, not even coming to pray for me. He brought money for me. So I use it for that, that particular treatment. So when I came back, it looked as if the man's sickness started. Mm. Where I was, there was a day my heart was just, I was just going, my, I, I saw my spirit going out. My friend, we are crying. Say, what do you want to eat? As only pap, even the pap, I could not lift the spoon to feed myself. My friend was feeding me with pap, as old as I am. My friend was feeding me, she was crying. Mm. I said, see me go, you know. So they now rushed me to hospital. Mm. When they rushed me to hospital, the doctor came, they collected blood. They went for a test. Doctor came back and said, I cannot do anything without blood. Your blood percentage is 18 percent. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. thank you, Lord. thank you, Lord. Hey. hallelujah, hold it down, hallelujah, uh -huh. let, let's hear you, let's hear you, sister, let's hear you, so when I was in the hospital, doctor refused to treat me, he refused to put anything, he said, unless I see blood, you need to take two pints of blood at a go, hmm. because the kind of blood in your heart is the kind of blood that will give heart failure. Mm. He said you are even ha happy. Nothing has happened to you. You're supposed to have heart failure mm. with this kind of blood. He refused. Mm. And I was there. No money. Nothing, nothing. Mm. I have to call this prophet again. Mm. <laughs> I said, Daddy, I am dying. Say, what happened? I say, I'm still the same sickness. He now said, Where are you? As I'm in the hospital now. He said, Test me uh, the address. I cannot even hold my phone. It was nurse. I called nurse. Nurse came and tested the address. Before you know it, he sent Pastor Udeme. So even when Pastor Udeme came, he saw if he had him, doctor was panicking, saying, Without blood, without blood. So Pastor Udeme now called our daddy. Daddy said, come immediately. I tell you the truth. God just used our pastor. Even when he came, he brought the money for that pint of blood. Mm -hmm. In fact, Ka I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Daddy, Jesus, Daddy brought money for a pint of blood. That's why he see me not living, see me not standing. So when I was taking that blood, before they start other injections, other, other things. So why I was in that treatment, the, 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 the doctor said, I'll give you a paper to go to scan. He now gave me a paper from that hospital. I went, to one hosp I went to one place to do a scan. When I came back, he said, this scan is not enough. I will still send you another place. You know how much is scan? 8,000, 5,000. He now gave me another paper. I went to another place for scan, which the result came out Friday. So while I was there, I was going from this place to another, this place to another. I called daddy. Daddy prayed for me. I'm going, I'm going. Daddy prayed for me and he assured me that nothing happened to me. That so far God has revealed the, the sickness. Nothing will happen to me. Mm -hmm. So that was when and I have joy in me. Mm -hmm. I was just crying. I was just crying. In fact, to, to crown it all, 
When I, I was in that hospital, I cried. My phone, my phone was ringing as if I'm running a business center call. People were calling me. Where are you? What happened? As I'm in the hospital. God just went to the heart of men, which surprised me, which has never happened before. Mm. God went to the heart of men. They were all telling me, send me account number. Uh -huh. Send me account number. I was even, because I cannot even go to bank to tell, because... Because of the signal, I cannot go to bank. So I to go to bank. You know why I'm happy now? Some few days back, I cannot stand like this. I cannot even talk. I cannot even, even sit down. Only lying down, lying down. While I was lying, my heart was, was pounding as if 20 men were beating on my heart. My legs said, in fact, I was to extend that. I said, told my friend, I am going, I'm going. They were all crying. They were all crying that I will not die. I will not die. In fact, I just want to appreciate God. Because if somebody told me that I would be here today, I say it's a lie. As a Thursday, Friday, I've never even got to So why in that place? So the doctor now say, I'm going to discharge you. You go and collect the result and come back. So when the doctor came with the uh, uh, bills and everything, <laughs> I was laughing. Because why I, was in, why I was in the hospital. So people were sending money. And it was going to doctor's uh, account. So people were calling me, sending me money, everything. So and I said, okay. So I'm not the one that told the money. <laughs> hey. So after everything, the doctor said, I'm discharging you. I said, how much? He told me. I said, but there's money in your account. He said, yes, doc, uh, no, please discharge her, discharge her. Hey. 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 So hey. I, had this, I was so happy because all these things, my tenure did not enter because I was not even having a dime. It is a great story, a great story. Man just live this one, and for a cry, Jesus Christ the man, become a friend. What a great story, a great story. Hey, what a great story, oh, a great story. Man just live this one, and for a cry, Jesus Christ the man, become a friend. Hey, what a great story. So I am happy. I am happy to stand here. Even yesterday I went to that place to collect the results. I went back to the doctor. The doctor looked at the results. He looked at the results. He says, but I'm not seeing anything that is so bad in this place. Your system, every because I went to series of scan, everything. See, I'm not seeing any bad thing, but I wonder why you are still bleeding. Any attack that shall come upon you from now, God will stop him. He will backfire. Amen. For three weeks, I was bleeding. Non-stopping. I was going down. I was dying. But I really thank God that today, I am standing here. Clap your hands for Jesus, church. Before I, before I, I, I go back, Daddy, I want to tell you that as you have showed me this great love, 
As I showed me this great care, Amen. my God in heaven will take care of you. Amen. Before you open your mouth, the Lord will answer you. Amen. I want to also pray for this our pastor, this pastor today. He's a wonderful man. He's, he followed his step of our daddy. He will hear your voice and he, will, he cannot rest until he keep on, until he know how you feel. He's a humble daddy servant. From that very day, daddy sent him. Pastor, they may keep on calling me. Amen. Sister Nkechi, how are you? Amen. Are you still in the hospital? Amen. Are people responding? I don't have what I've been something. Please, you'll be okay. He keep on calling. He keep on calling. My pastor, may the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. I say, God, who has given me life uh -huh. again, restore me to life. Uh -huh. All glory, all honor, uh -huh. adoration, uh -huh. thanksgiving, uh -huh. praises, uh -huh. belongs to you uh -huh. forever. Amen. Forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Church, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Chile can you dim malay? On your one you dim ma. Here me little and get a young year. Nambanile, no canile. Here me little and get a young year. Nambanasi, not in the can you dim. Oh, you dim ma. On your one you dim malay. Here me little and get a young year. Nambanile. May your testimony be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ.